Today, we'll look into the shapes of molecules, VSPR theory, valence shell electron pair repulsion theory, states that similar charge of electron pairs repel each other. The electron pairs in the valence shell of an atom will experience the least repulsion when they are far apart as possible. This applies to both to lone pairs and bonded pairs. And this dictates the geometry and the shape of the molecule. In finding out the shape of the molecule, we follow the following. First of all, draw the Lewis structure of the ion or the molecule, and hence count the number of electrons pair around each central atom. The number of lone pairs and the bonding pairs around the central atom helps to draw the molecule geometry. Lone pair. Lone pair has maximum repulsion, then the repulsion between lone pair and bonded pair that is intermediate and then minimum repulsion is between bonded pair and bonded pair. We follow the order of the angle lone pair lone pair is greater than lone pair and bonded pair that is still greater than bonded pair and bonded pair. The lone pair are not included when molecular shape is drawn. Each bond is considered as single group irrespective of it being double or triple bond. Because all the electrons have the same negative charge, they repel each other when they are close together. So a pair of electrons in the bond surrounding the central atom in a molecule will repel other electron pairs. This repulsion forces the pairs of electron apart until the repulsive force are minimized. Let's see some examples. The shape of molecules. The number one, shape of molecule of beryllium fluoride, BEF2. Shape is linear. Why is the shape linear? Because it has two bonds. There is no lone pair. And the bond angle naturally is 180 degree cell. 180 degree. You'll see BE is in the center. That's the central atom. And then fluorine at uh, R at the both the side. And therefore they repel each other and go to an extreme angle where the repulsive force is the least. And they form an angle of 180 degree. Shape is trigonal, planar. So example is boron trifluoride. So in boron trifluoride, or we can say bor boron trifluoride is an electron deficient molecule. It has only six electron in its outer share. The three bonding pairs electrons repel each other equally. You'll see boron is in the center and there are three bonding fluorine elements. So they repel each other equally. So fluorine, bromine and uh, boron and fluorine bond angles are 120 degree. We describe the shape of the molecule as trigonal planar. Trigonal means having means having three angles so it has three angles and the total number of electron pair in this is three next is shape is bent this is the molecule of water so if you look carefully you will see that the molecule of water has two lone pairs over there there are two bonds and two lone pairs so the total of electron pair is four because of the lone two lone pair, the angle between the hydrogen to hydrogen is 104.5 degree. So that's the greatest repulsion that occurs between, we can say, between the lone pairs there. So uh, water has two bonding pairs of electrons and two lone pairs. 
and the greatest force is between the two lone pairs. This results in the bonds being pushed even closer together. So the shape of the water molecule is a non-linear V shape or and the angle H O H bound angle is 104.5 degree. I hope you understood it. Let's move on to the next example. Example is ammonia NH3. So ammonia, we have a trigonal uh, pyramidal shape and we see there are three bonds. One lone pair is there. So the total number of electron pair with the three bonds and one lone pair is four. Because of the lone pair, the angle moves down to 107. So ammonia has three bonding pairs of electron and one lone pair. As lone pair bond pair repulsion is greater than bond pair bond pair repulsion, the bonding pairs of electrons are pushed closer together. This gives ammonia molecular pyramidal shape. The H and H bond angle is 107. We call this a pyramidal structure. Let's go to the next example. Shape is tetrahedral, that is methane, CH4. So we'll see that methane has four bounding pairs of electrons surrounding the central carbon atom. The equal repulsive forces of each bonding pair of electrons results in the structure with all HCH bond angles being 109.5 degree. And therefore, we call this as a tetrahedral structure. Next example is trigonal bipyramidal and uh, the compound is phosphorus pentafluoride, PF5. So phosphorus pentachloride has five bonding pairs of electrons and no lone pairs. The repulsion between the electron pair results in the most stable structure being one where two pyramids with bases of three angles are joined. We call this structure trigonal bipyramidal. Three of the fluorine atoms lie in the same plane as the phosphorus atom. The bond angle between phosphorus, uh, fluorine, phosphorus, fluorine within this plane are 120 degree. Two of the fluorine atom lies above and below this plane at 90 degree to it. Let's move down to the next example. Sulfur hexafluoride, SF6. Shape is octahedral. So sulfur hexafluoride has six bonding pairs of electrons and no lone pair. The equal repulsion between the electron pairs results in the structure octahedral. All fluorine sulfur fluorine bond angles are 90 degree. So it has an eight oct it has an octahedral structure. I hope this structure or the shape of molecules is clear to you. Students, if you like my video lessons, please subscribe and share the lessons, video lessons with your friends. Thank you.